There is something fundamentally wrong in our foreign security policy. Because we all know that political decisions get better the more diverse the people are that are making these decisions. And that is especially true in deeply divided societies, in societies after war, where people that have experienced violence and so much hate have to come together again. But if I look at the negotiation tables where decisions are being made for these states, what I see there is mostly, sometimes even only men, the men that were committing the violence. And there they are sitting and making the decisions for peace. And what I don't see at these negotiation tables is women. What I don't see is the people that suffered from the war. What I don't see are all these people that have to live in these countries afterwards. And we really need to break that pattern because that pattern just leads to another and another and another round of violence. We need women at the negotiation tables, many and quickly. And of course, it's also about putting our money where our mouth is. We need resources to empower all those minorities, women and girls, to speak up and claim their spots. But if I look at how we spend the money, mostly it's for infrastructure, not education. It's for tanks, not health services. And that drives me crazy. And that's why, in addition to thinking of who should sit at the negotiation table, we also need to rethink how we spend our money. Well, and the same is true if you speak about rights. There are still countries where women cannot own land and she loses every right to take care of her land when her husband dies. And with these laws in place, we can spend as much money as we want to. We are not going to change the core of the discrimination. And that's why we also need to look at laws and practices and make sure that we get rid of them all over the world. So we really need to speed things up. And to get there, I think it's really important that we find time to listen to those who have been fighting for this cause for many, many years. And of course, I have been working a lot in the last year on our report on gender equality in EU's foreign and security policy, where we make very clear what we in our EU institutions need to change to make sure that our foreign policy is for everybody. So for us who have the power, I think it's important that we are very mindful about whom we give the voice and whom we silence, where we spend our resources and where we don't spend them. And for everybody else, please hold us accountable and just check whether we manage to live up to this idea of having a foreign policy for everybody.